Hi everyone, this video I'll walk you guys through the whole application and teach you guys how to use some of its basic features. So once we've opened our application, we'll be on this login interface. If you have signed up before, you'll just uh, you enter your username and password, then you can log in. If you haven't, you just go to sign up, enter a mobile phone number or a email address, easy to sign up. Then you can save your password, all the login, just basic features for convenience, but it's not necessary. So once we've logged in, we're going to see the list of smart devices. If it's your first time, you're going to see nothing. And you can add cameras and devices on the top right here. And if your camera is new, you're going to have to log into your camera's internal network first. Then feed your Wi-Fi's password and name. So then the camera itself can connect to our home Wi-Fi. After that, we can choose the camera and add it to our the smart devices. Now let's choose our bird box camera. You can see we've got the image of the bird box, pretty clear. And let's take a look at the middle row. There's five features right here. The first one is the mute and unmute button, pretty easy to use. And the second one is changing the resolution from uh, changing it to high definition. A third one is changing the image's ratio. You can change it to full screen, like filling the whole screen, but it's kind of awkward. Depends on your like. And we can also make it multiple screens. If you have multiple devices, you can look at them at the same time. Then the fourth one is editing, well, cutting the screen for four seconds to make a short clip. It's rather, sim it's rather simple. Okay, the fifth one is just making it full screen, pretty easy. And there's a screenshot button on the bottom here, which can screenshot the moments you love. On the bottom room, the three features are playback. Playback, we just look at the recent videos or the past videos we've been recording. We scroll to the timeline or choose a specific date we want. After that, we just choose the video clip and it will start playing. You can see the time is different on the top left. These are recordings. And now the middle one is our microphone, but we've display disabled the microphone on our bird box camera. We don't want to scare the birds. And the third one is snapshot. Snapshot is just like taking a picture of the video at that moment. Now this is pretty much the basic features of our bird box camera. Thank you guys for watching.